Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we get to talk about my favourite skincare brand, Geek and Gorgeous. Now, I'm running a little bit of a series here on the channel where I rank every single product in some of my favourite skincare brands. I've already covered Beauty of Joseon, which I'm going to leave a link to up there, but today it's the turn of Geek and Gorgeous. There are so many reasons why I love this skincare brand. They are drugstore to their core, delivering really amazing formulations at rock bottom prices. I love their packaging, I love their commitment to delivering the very best without overcharging the consumer. They're just an all-around good guy in the skincare world, but as with all brands, they have their ding 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 holy grails and their wah 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 total fails. And that's kind of what I'm going to share with you in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's rank some geek and gorgeous. Now, the true reason for me filming this video now is Geek and Gorgeous have a very rare sale going on at the moment. They are already super drugstore and affordable, so they don't really do a whole lot of sales and discount codes. However, for like two days only, if you wanted to shop any of the products mentioned in today's video, you can do using the links below and the discount code that I've also left in the description box to get 10% off. Now, I know 10% might not seem like earth-shattering discount, but when you consider how affordable these products are in the first place, it's just a little extra of your hard-earned coin that you can save and shop some amazing skincare at the same time. And what's not to love about that? Before we delve straight into all of these products, just a quick reminder to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like, the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So liking the content and the videos that you enjoy is just the best way of supporting any content creators you follow. I would also love to know what like your holy grails and total fails are from Geek and Gorgeous. So sound off in the comments section below and let's just get that conversation going. Now, I've got an awful lot to say, so in Mad About Skin style, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So, Geek and Gorgeous. There's quite a lot to know about the brand, but I don't want to have to recap it in this video today, because I want today to be all about the products, and I've already covered it in a separate video on the channel. I'm going to leave a link to that up there, so if you want to know more about the background to Geek and Gorgeous itself, check out that video after this one. It'll kind of give you the full lowdown. Now, in this list, I'm going to go worst through to best. You know, keep that suspense building, and in 11th place are going to be their two hyaluronic acid serums. Now there's nothing wrong with the hyaluronic acid rich and the hyaluronic acid light. You know it's nice that they have two different options depending on how much hyaluronic acid you actually want in your skincare routine. But in truth through trial and error over the years I've learned I just don't need a standalone hyaluronic acid serum. This ingredient is in every one of your other skincare products so you can save your money entirely by just doing away with this and accepting that you're going to get your hyaluronic acid fix with every other the step in your routine you don't really need that standalone serum so whilst they're not badly formulated I just think they're a little bit redundant now we know a little bit more about hyaluronic acid itself in 10th and for very similar reasons is going to be their B bomb serum again Nothing wrong with this. It's a niacinamide-based serum. It's pretty well formulated, to be honest. But for the same reason that I don't like the hyaluronic acid ones, I just don't think you need a separate niacinamide. You know, again, something that reoccurs in our skincare routine time and time again. If we use too much of it, it can actually have the opposite effect to what you intend. It can increase redness, peeling, irritation, and actually break you out. I've learned, again, over my skincare journey, that if you reduce the amount of niacinamide in your life, you actually get enhanced results. So these three products are just firm passes for me, not because of Geek and Gorgeous or the formulations, but because I just don't think you need them in a really good quality skincare routine. Now in ninth place is their Smooth Out Exfoliator. Now Geek and Gorgeous do three different exfoliating liquids, and I think these are the ones that really hit the news, hit the headlines, and really catapulted the brand into the viral sensation that it's kind of become. So I'm sure that Geek and Gorgeous are really proud of their exfoliating liquids and formulations, but I actually don't think they're that impressive when you compare and contrast it to the other products that the brand's offering. So this smooth out serum has a 12% concentration of alpha hydroxy acids in it, which is relatively high. I just don't think you need this strong an exfoliator, even if you've got a resilient skin type. And if you did want to go for something this potent, I actually think there are other options on the market, much cheaper than the 30 euro price tag that the Geek and Gorgeous want to charge for this. You can actually just reach for the ordinary 7% glycolic acid toning solution. It's like one third the price, very similar strength and concentration. And I think I'll give you very similar outcomes. This for me is just too strong for most people's skincare routine and I think there's more affordable options on the market. 
For the very same reasons, in at number eight is going to be their Cheer Up Exfoliator. And this is actually the last of the products from Geek and Gorgeous that I won't recommend. All the others I'm going to rank from my least favorite to favorite, but they're all kind of holy grails in their own right. The Cheer Up Exfoliator will work well for some. It's mandelic acid based, which is a really nice large molecule size exfoliator. So fairly gentle. It's also got some salicylic acid in here, which will get into the pores, flush them out and kind of minimize any blackheads and congestion. I really like this, but again, that 30 euro price point is just a little bit steep when you can get a really good mandelic acid treatment from other brands for like 10 euros the equivalent of about seven or eight pounds i don't think the price point of any of their exfoliating liquids really matches with the price point of the rest of their collection which is super affordable and drugstore which is why for me they're just a little bit more on the pass side than they are on the holy grails but into those holy grails themselves in at number seven is the jelly joker cleanser now i had this in my skincare routine for years so for like the past two years but for some reason when I came to film this video could I find the bottle? Absolutely not. So I think it probably expired and I tossed it out some time ago. But if you've been following the channel for some time, you've probably seen me frantically wave about this product in quite a few videos. It used to be my absolute holy grail and it is a really nice cleanser. It gives a very light foaming action, so it's not gonna strip and dry the skin. It's pH balanced, which I really like, so it won't disrupt the acid mantle of the skin. And it was a really nice and effective cleanser. The only reason it's coming lower down on the holy grail section of this list is I've just found some other alternatives. When I formulated my own cleanser, which is this, the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser, I really modelled the texture on the Geek and Gorgeous one because I loved it so, so much. However, through a few trial and error and different iterations of this, I think I've been able to create a product that cleanses just that bit better, has a slightly more creamy texture, which I personally prefer, and is a little bit more on the hydrating side. They come at a very similar price point, so I've just found myself reaching for this day in day out at the expense of that jelly joker cleanser it is still really good but i think when it first hit the market it was one of the only ph balance cleansers available and there are so so many out there so i think this has gone from being really innovative and unique to just one of many ph balance cleansers on the market good but i don't think worthy of a place higher in this list now in at number seven is what i think are the best of their exfoliating liquids this is the calm down exfoliator so i still think it's a little bit overpriced when you look at the rest of the Geek and Gorgeous collection but I think it offers something so different to what is available on the wider market I kind of don't mind spending a little extra of my coin on it and having it in my collection. So this has a 4% concentration of polyhydroxy acids which are the largest molecular way of exfoliating acid so super super gentle. It's also got some salicylic acid in here it's going to go into the pores flush out all that debris. This is going to be a really great option for anyone that has a super sensitive skin type or someone that wants to exfoliate every single day so is looking for something really really gentle. It's got some nice extracts in here as well to calm and soothe the skin. I do think it is really, really well formulated. Whilst I think there are more drugstore dupes and alternatives to the other two exfoliating liquids in Geek and Gorgeous, I don't think there is for this one, which is why I buy it time and time again. It's also, for those of you that like really good packaging, it's got a really like drip proof cap on it, which I love. So you can travel with it without it going all over your wash bag. Super easy, super convenient, and a really, really nice formulation. Six is is this little gem, the perfectly clear 2% salicylic acid serum. So I switched to this when the ordinary salicylic acid was discontinued for like the longest time, and I was hunting for another 2% salicylic acid serum. Tried this, and I really loved it. You know, 2% salicylic acid, whichever brand you shop with, is kind of just gonna deliver the same thing. But if it's formulated really well, it can offset some of the dryness that you might get from that salicylic acid. That's because this ingredient binds to oil and removes it from the skin. So if like me, you have loads of excess oil it's probably not going to be a problem but if you want to decongest the skin and you have a slightly drier skin type removing some of that excess oil could be a little bit problematic so this is a great option of a salicylic acid serum that i think is better suited to a drier and more sensitive skin type if like me you're super oily acne prone you can just buy the ordinary one which is cheaper and kind of gets the job done but if you're wanting something that's a bit more bespoke kind of tailored to your individual skin's needs i think the geek and gorgeous one is a really really good option now, I think the first ever product I tried from Geek and Gorgeous is the one that's coming in at number five, and it's this. This is the Liquid Hydration. Now, this was the first product I tried from them because you guys were fangirling about it so, so much in the comments section of my earlier videos. Everyone's saying, Rob, honestly, you've got to try this product. You will love it. I tried it and I did fall in love. It's such a nice hydrating toner that also has some calming and soothing components to it too. It's packed full of amino acids, it's got some panthenol in there. So all of these ingredients are compatible with 
with our skin to deeply hydrate us, calm and soothe everything down, and shouldn't trigger too much sensitivity and irritation. The original was in this traditional toner bottle that you can either apply to your fingertips, pat it on, or use a cotton round. It's kind of down to personal preference. Then they launched this one. This is the spray version. The exact same formulation, just different packaging. I personally prefer the spray. You can keep it in the fridge for that ultimate cooling, but this is in and out of stock all the time. So if you can get the spray, I'd say pick it up. If you can't, just get the normal one. It works the same. But if you get hold of one of the sprays, keep it because you can always top it up with this one. And that way, I just think it's a better application, but definitely, definitely a holy grail hydrating toner. Now we're in the top four. And to be honest, very little separates all of these products. They're all holy grails. They all deserve a place in your skincare routine and they're all fabulous. And it was really difficult to like sort through them in order. But in at number four, after much deliberation is this. This is the A pad azelaic acid serum. I love, love, love this. This is a 20% azelaic acid derivative. And whilst I think traditionally we think derivatives, you know, much more gentle, less effective, not the case with this. So some, some studies have shown that this particular azelaic acid derivative actually penetrates better into the skin. So you could be getting an enhanced result for reaching for this than you will pure form azelaic acid. I think it all comes down to personal preference. But if you want somewhere to start with azelaic acid, that's gonna give you minimum risk of irritation, but sky high benefits when it comes to evening out the skin tone, calming and soothing everything down and also minimizing the occurrence of acne causing bacteria to eliminate breakouts this is kind of the one that I go for. One of these bottles, if you use it once a day in your skincare routine, will last you about two months. So a month if you use it twice a day, and it's just super flexible, a gorgeous, gorgeous formulation, and definitely one of my favorite azelaic acids. Kicking things off in the top three is this. This is the Stress Less Serum. This absolutely sensational. So this has madacasicide in here. It's also got beta glucans. All ingredients that are going to calm and soothe the skin, reduce the risk of any inflammation and irritation. Inflammation is actually the number one trigger for hyperpigmentation. So before you reach for that hyperpigmentation, discoloration, fading serum, actually get this in your skincare routine because this is going to protect the skin against future hyperpigmentation. And so it's going to deliver far better results in the long term. I think sometimes we miss a trick by not having a calming and soothing step in our skincare routine. And this is my absolute favorite and one that I'd say honestly belongs in every single person's skincare routine. Such, such a holy grail. In at number two is going to be the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum. This was, it's in the fridge at the moment. I should have gone down to get it, but it's better to keep your vitamin C's in the fridge. And that's certainly the case with this one. When you choose a vitamin C serum, because it oxidizes so freely, you need to keep a couple of things in mind. Either pay a little bit more to get a super stabilized version of vitamin C, or get one in a really innovative packaging type that minimizes contact with oxygen and slows the oxidative processes down. With this product, why it's totally unique when it comes to the other products on the market is it's made fresh every single week. So when your Seaglow Serum arrives on your doormat, hasn't been sat in a dusty warehouse shelf gathering dust and oxidizing while you wait for it, it's made fresh just for you. So you don't actually need to worry about that oxidation. Keep it in the fridge and it should last like three months, which is why I would definitely recommend this. It's a mid-strength vitamin C in its pure form, will definitely help brighten and glow up the skin. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful addition to a skincare routine, especially if you're worried about buying a product that might oxidize. This, definitely the one for you. Now in at number one, no questions asked, best of the best is this, the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10. This is a retinal, which is one of the most potent over-the-counter retinoids you can get. It needs to go through fewer conversions, so you get it at maximum efficacy when it turns into that retinoic acid to deliver the anti-aging benefits. It'll increase cellular turnover, fight hyperpigmentation, eliminate fine lines and wrinkles. It's so, so good. And while some retinols can give you a little dry and sensitivity, you get less with this because of the other ingredients it's formulated with. They do an A Game 5, a lower strength version and they do this which is the highest strength so match the one that you choose to your individual level of sensitivity but this is a total holy grail and I captured it as like the best of the best in retinoids in a video which I'm going to link up there so there you have it guys a rundown of the best through to the worst when it comes to geek and gorgeous honestly this is definitely a skincare brand I would recommend time and time again and hopefully this has helped you navigate your way through their collection wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well and love your skin take care bye